he if he came in during the conversations he said i don't really understand the comment in the group about the choicelessness and the helplessness and i didn't either in the first couple of years i i was so confused because in the beginning before you come to human design everybody's like i create my own reality i have free will and da, 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 and all this i'm in charge stuff and then you come to design and at some point down the road it took me a couple of years to get to this you hear that the voice said no choice no choice said the voice and the choicelessness was something I was like, I don't get it. So a friend of mine talked to somebody who is a channeler, um, if you've heard of Bashar, and I have that as a recording, uh, in fact, the two of them talking and we're like, okay, please ex explain to us. And Bashar went to, into his normal spiel of, you create your own reality and free will and da 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 da. You're going down the same path and you could choose to skip and run or you could choose to crawl, but it's your choice. And then what happened? He said, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have something else coming through. The reason for that teacher saying no choice is because the structure never changes. The structure of the body graph does not change. Real big example. Can we choose to be uh, immortal? No, because we are mortal beings. However, if we were to change the structure of the body graph and had the sacral connected to the heart center, which down the road is one of the beings that could come into reality. It's an evolution of the body graph. Then we would have an, 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 an immortal design, but we can't change that. We can't choose to change that. We can't choose to change our profile. In fact, surrendering to the profile and the life movie, the cross that you're living, your life purpose is part of the serendipity of what it is to be you. That will feel successful or satisfying or peaceful or, aligned and delightful and surprising when you surrender to what's actually there programming you to be you hopefully that helps a little bit with the the choicelessness thing because it's a big thing to wrap your head around especially if you're really into law of attraction which there's nothing wrong with but just just to kind of switch it a little bit to see you for you and that <laughs> when the sun and earth shifts we're not in a second line day anymore when it shifts to a third line day now we see what happens is that there are going to be mistakes that are being made. There's going to be trial and error. There's going to be bonds made and broken. There's going to be adaptability, mutativeness. There's going to be structures that you bump into as a third line, which is so different from what a second line is. And that's why no choice. We can't change what the design is. However, we can evolve. We can live from the not self-conditioning, something wrong with me, so I'm gonna prove my worth by being in control and dominating and, and guilting and all this stuff, right? That you can live out the not self, which is what normally people will do because it screams louder than anything in the design. The design you take for granted, you're not thinking about that. You're always trying to make a decision out here because when you're in the openness, it gets amplified and now you're all fearful and scared for your own survival. So you make a snap decision in order to get rid of the fear rather than waiting and being patient and trusting in your own intelligence, whatever your intelligence happens to be for you. For me, emotional intelligence. And in the design itself, it's not like when I was born, I was inspiring as a little baby cooing there <laughs> or imaginative, imaginative, particularly the brain system doesn't fully develop until about 25. That's why you won't be able to rent a car until we're 25. So our life experience now, halfway marker is Uranus opposition. It's about 40 years. So the maturing of the vehicle takes longer because we are nine centered. We're not seven centered, which was about 30 years to, you know, burn out and die. Now it's, we're getting 80 years lifespan because we're Uranian. So when we hit 50, now we have a design that comes in our Chiron return that allows us to fully flower in the expression of our true potential. And that doesn't happen till a certain age. That's the choicelessness. So hopefully that helps a little bit with wrapping your brain around it. I know that it's really uncomfortable sometimes and the brain system and our part of communion here the brain system um the, the passenger consciousness will fight and struggle and scream and cry and throw fits and do everything that it can to convince you that it belongs in the driver's seat so 
Don't believe the voice inside of your head about yourself, about anything. Trust only what's solid, what's tangible, whatever relates to you and your authority. So first, Leslie, solid and tangible is talking it out over multiple people with multiple people and then feeling what what she has to do or what she believes she should do or what which way she's going to lead or how she i am in this moment contemplates the now that's what she can trust so everybody has their own personal authority